What's up YouTube? My name is Micah Diaz. This is my E36 and this is our new show. <laughs> so check it out on today's episode. Pretty much the maintenance that you need to be doing on your drift car before you're taking it out. Kind of more what I look for on my car before competition. If you guys don't know, this weekend is round two and I'm gonna be driving in it in this car here. And we got a lot of maintenance to do to make sure that it's ready to get out there on the track and shred with the best of the best out there in our Pro-Am series. When we jump into the maintenance of the car, the first thing we need to do is our fluid. Motorsports Fluid sent us some gear oil last night. We got our power steering ATF, we got our engine oil right here, and we got some gear oil right here. We got new gear oil for the new dog box that Tex Racing sent us. Again, if you've been following us, Tex Racing just sent us a brand new dog box that is now in the car, but they dropped it off not too long ago. Now it's in the car, it's running. The guys over at Popper Fab Works did a new transmission tunnel housing. I'll show you that real quick. They did a new transmission tunnel housing all fresh out of aluminum. My fiance Hannah came out and painted it all for us. Um, so this thing's back together, the gear oil, and that's all ready to go. We got to do the engine oil, we got to change the oil filter, and we got to go get tires from Andy's Tires. But kind of some of the things you want to go through in your car is all your fluids from your coolant, your oil, your gear oil, your differential oil. You kind of want to go through all these. I personally, to protect my investment in my motor, I personally change my oil every time before I go out to one of these Pro-Am events. In between, I'll go to a little event here and there because I know the oil's fresh from the last Pro-Am event. But we're coming into round two, so we need to get some new oil in this thing. All right, so all the oil's drained out of the motor now. We're gonna be changing out the oil filter as well. So you're gonna wanna change out your oil, your oil filter, and then just top off all of your fluids. Make sure everything's set up and ready to go. Check your brake fluid, you know, just make sure everything's ready to go because what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna get out there you don't want to spend the money to get to these Pro-Am events and then have the backing, the sponsors and all this stuff and then get there and go, car doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Well, I didn't check any of my stuff. Check your stuff before you get out there because it's a long haul. You can do a bolt check as well. And what a bolt check is, is kind of just running through your suspension components and things like that, making sure things are tight, all that stuff. Um, because you also don't want dumb stuff happening like those things coming loose. All right, so again, Motorsports Hardware set us up with some motor oil for our car this weekend. Good lubrication out in these extreme situations that we put our cars in out in the desert at Willow Springs is like vital. If you don't have good oil in your motor and you go out and you push it as hard as we push it, you're looking for trouble. It's kind of like you put all this money into your motor to get it to run right, and then you don't go and give it like oil and you break it because you didn't want to just go put fresh oil in it. So it looks like we're maintaining good oil pressures, good voltage, uh, and our water temp doesn't come up because our car's not warm yet. But I must say that, I must say this is the greatest my car's ever felt in its entire life. Uh, as you can see, we have some alignment issues that we want to try to correct before the race as well, because a good solid alignment is just a good thing to have. She's running real good, feels really solid. Oh, I'm so excited for this round. It's gonna be so much fun. So a couple other things we gotta do is check the coolant levels still. And we're just putt putting around the neighborhood so we didn't check it before we came out. But second to that is you always wanna make sure you have enough tools. Quick tip and trick real quick on what I do to make sure that I have all the tools that I need is I'll work on my car and whatever tools I use to work on my car that day, I'll put them into a pile or rather into a cloth bag. I'll show you my bags that I have to organize my tools. But if I use that wrench, I'll put it in that bag. It stays in that bag instead of in my personal toolbox at home, or rather it goes into my race bag and I'll take all those tools with me to the racetrack so that if I ever have to work on that same thing again, I'm not scrambling for tools, I'll have them. Let's get home. Check our coolers and check our tools. Make sure we got everything we need. All right, so now it's got a good operating temperature right now, our water. The way my system is set up on my car is that I can go up there and I have a bleeder valve on my motor and it's at the highest point of my engine. Any air buildup or steam that's gonna be in my motor is gonna be at that point. It's just a little, uh, a straighter valve. So essentially the same thing as your tire, you hit it down and it releases the pressure. It's the same thing I have on my engine and my cooling system. Be careful, don't get burned, don't do this. This is particularly for my setup. Don't get burned. <laughs> Don't do this on your regular car. 
Nothing in there. What the heck's going on? It turns out that we do need to add some water. Check your coolant level, just like that. My temp gauge says I'm at 180, but I clearly have air pockets. If your levels are low, it means you have steam pockets on your car. Steam pockets create pressure. Pressure creates blown head gaskets and other failures that you don't need. So just make sure you check your coolant levels. It's very, very, very important. And it can mean life or death for your motor and for your season. Okay, so I have a rear mount radiator set up. A lot of you guys have front mount stuff. Do not open your radiator like I just did when your car is hot. I know that I don't have kind of any pressure in my car because I checked my shader valve first. Don't do that if your car is warm. Let your car cool down, but we need to get water in this car because it is low. So this is kind of a bag check. I have my special tea bag where I have some Loctite, uh, valve, valve stem pullers, different like little picks and things. Then I have more of my like 3 8 bag where I have all my sockets, extensions, wrenches. Then I have my big wrenches, the 22s, three, three quarters, and then all the way down to the small size again, just so I have two of each size for the most part. Then we have things, the bigger, heavier duty stuff. We have our bit bag. We have all of our impacts and drills, digital multimeter for electrical troubleshooting, fuel suspension coilover tools, hammers, pry bars, our cleaning stuff, because it's nice to stay clean, and then a bunch of extra like fastening stuff, zip ties, cable, rope, tech screws. We also have our vice grips, our cable cutters. We got snips and also all of our screwdrivers, our Allen keys, tape measures, knife, just everything you could possibly run into. You're trying to be prepared for it. So this is kind of my bag check. It sucks going to the racetrack, not having the tools that you need, having to rely on other people. So if you can kind of get yourself organized, kind of figure out exactly the tools that you use on your car, again, try to be prepared for the unexpected. This is what we do alongside of bringing like a jack. So try to bring out a jack with you. Um, we have our breaker bar with our special socket for our motorsports hardware. Oh, also bringing a bag out with you, having a big roller bag makes it a lot easier. Instead of having a big metal toolbox, you have a nice cloth roller bag with a sick handle that comes up. This is a tool check. This is what I run. Also, I have a crate full of all my oils and my fluids that I would need for the weekend too, along with a couple of water jugs because things happen with your cooling system. You wanna be prepared for the unexpected and so much stuff happens out here. Make sure you have all the tools you need. Make sure that you have a crate of fluid with a little, at least a couple of quarts of oil, some gear oil, some power steering oil, and even like electronic cleaner, WD-40. Get some duct tape, you know, like you don't know. This stuff saves you sometimes. So make sure you got your tools with you. Make sure you got some fluid with you. Run through your car. Make sure your car's all set up. Do your bolt check, do your oil check, do your fluid check. And you should be good for the weekend. That's kind of our prep check for top drift. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it ends up being a lot of time. So it took us like about an hour to do that. Plus we did our coolant and different things like that. And now we gotta go pick up wheels. We gotta go pick up tires. We have a lot of stuff we have to do. Also your tow rig, make sure your tow rig is set up. Cause if you break down on the way out there, that sucks. Unless your car is registered, then you can just drive it straight to the track. Make sure your tow rig's set up. Make sure your race car's set up. Make sure your toolbox is set up. And if you got a couple guys to be on your team like I do, that also helps tremendously. So this has been our, our first episode on the new channel, the SoCal Sideways channel. Again, if you guys have been here for a long time, or you guys are just subscribing now, thank you guys for watching. If you want to subscribe, click here. If you want to watch some more of our old videos or this car in action, click here, or here, or here, or here or here or here there's not that many videos hit the like button down here leave a comment below on maybe some of the things you guys check on your car before race day stay safe later